Hello everyone, this tutorial is going to help you with the computer programming set of FAMCAT examinations. It is as well beneficial for technical aptitude examinations of any MNC. Few of the topics you need to own are mentioned in the slide. So let's proceed with the questions and their solutions. And I hope you will pay attention and focus on the tutorial. So guys, here we have the first question. It's a very simple question. Try to pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself. So here is the solution. From the first case I am getting 60 and the from second case I am getting 140 and the difference is 80. So the first option is the correct one. So now question 2. Try to pause and solve. Let me tell you if a condition is true we get 1 while if a condition is false we get 0. So if we substitute the values of true and false in the expression a greater than 45 1, b is not greater than 50 so 0, c is not greater than 50, 10 so 0. So in first case uh, we have or and and so 1 or 0 and 0. In second case we have 1 or 0 under brackets. Now since precedency of and is more than that of or in first case 0 and 0 will be done first and then we its or function is performed so we get 1. Well in second case 1 or 0 is performed first since it's under bracket and then and with 0 is performed so we get 0 in the second case. Pause it and try to solve this. I am sure most of you thinking option 2 is the correct answer. When an integer divides an integer the outcome is also integer so 98 will be the right In this problem we need to detect that which line contains the error. So go through it and uh, predict or depict the line of error. So let's check out the answer now. Statement 4 should have contained a sum equals to sum plus i into i for the sum to have occurred. Here we need to find the sum of first 10 multiples of 5 but there is a statement missing. So we need to add multiples of 5 from 5 to 50. So as we can see each multiple of 5 differs from its predecessor by 5. So in order to obtain all the multiples of 5, we need to add 5 to its predecessor. That is i equals to i plus 5 needs to be done. And it continues until the maximum value of 5 reaches 50. Yet again we have a very simple problem here. If we take a close look, we can find that sum is not initialized to 0. That means sum will contain initially a garbage value which can tamper with the result and get a wrong outcome. I am damn sure it must be appearing error free to all of you, isn't it? Well the value of the cube is said to be between 0 and 100 that is uh, a must be less than 100 instead of i less than 100. So here we can see that at statement 2 a is compared with 50 however a is not initialized at statement 1 so statement 1 is wrong. So minimum number of bits required to store numbers from 0 to 25 try to solve it. Yes the answer is uh, if there is one bit we can store two locations we have two locations to store which are 0 and 1 if there are two bits. We have four locations to store 00, 01, 10 and 11. So if we proceed likewise, if we have five bits, we'll have 32 locations to store. And in that 32 locations, we can store values from 0 to 25. So this is how it is done. Which of the following cannot be represented by a six bit signed integer data type? So the data type has a maximum limit of six bits. So 2 to the power 6 is 64 that is we can hold a maximum of 64 data. Now since it is signed we can hold both positive and negative values. So in negative range we can hold from minus 32 to minus 1 which is 32 values and in positive range we can hold from 0 to 31 which are positive values 32 positive values. So in total we get 64 data. That is in positive side we have the limit as 31 so we cannot hold 32. Oh it's a bit complicated one just try to solve it. As mentioned there are 20 different letters so in order to identify those 28 letters we require at least 5 bits. Why? 
5 bits because 2 to the power 5 is 32 which is closest value to 28. Now uh, for every letter I am using 5 bits so every word has a maximum of 7 letters that is 7 into 5 equals to 35 bits are required to represent a word. We have done a similar question previously also, just try it out. Since it is an unsigned data type, we can hold only positive values. Now the data type is of 10 bits, so 2 to the power 10 is 1024, that is 1024 unique values are obtained and the range of values is from 0 to 1023. This question came simultaneously for two years in AMCAD in 2015 and in 2016. Using 7 bits in total, we can have 128 numbering, 2 to the power 7 equals to 128. And out of those 128, 75 are already numbered. So remaining numbering which could be done is 128 minus 75 which is equal to 53. this problem we need to calculate size of two data types well the first data type is used to store 15 letters and the second data type is used to store all the letters combiningly all the characters combiningly so as we can see in the first line 15 letters can be represent uniquely using 4 bits because 2 to the power 4 is 16 and uh, so 4 bits is sufficient to represent 15 letters uh, second case we need to find the bits required to represent all the characters together in total there are 15 plus 8 plus 1 equals to 24 characters and since 2 to the power 5 is equals to 32 which is closest to 24 we require 5 bits to represent it. It's a bit long but very simple question try to solve it. So here we can see that uh, a, B, C, uh, both are of 1 byte, that is 8 bits. So maximum they can hold up to 255 numbers, numbers up to 255. On exceeding that, we will get an error. So here we can see expression C is equals to A plus 2 into B. This 2 into B has high impact on the expression C. So let us check for which value of B, this value of C will exceed 255. So first option B is 200, so on putting 200, the value of C is becoming 410, which is more than 255, so it will give an error numbers result. Two integer numbers are there and each are of 7 bits. And uh, C is equals to A minus B. So what could be the result? Now logically if A and B are of uh, 7 bits, C which is obtained from A and B should also be of 7 bits, but there is a catch which is a minus B can also be a negative number so in order to represent a negative numbers one extra bit should be uh, used which will indicate the sign so 8 bits are required so two integers are there and they can have any value between 0 to 31 so C is equals to 2 into A minus B we don't know what is the value of A and B so let's consider the worst case in worst case A can have the maximum value that is 31 and B has the least value that is 0. So 2 into 31 minus 0 which is 62. That means maximum positive value which C can have is 62. That means we require 6 bits since 2 to the power 6 is 64 which is close to 62. However the reverse thing can also take place that is A equals to 0 and B equals to 31. In that case we will get minus 62. So in order to consider the negative uh, sign we need to have an extra bit that is 7 bits is the right answer. The starting address is to uh, 456 and each letter occupies 2 bytes. Now initial address is 456. So D is 11 letters away from M that is 11 into 2 bytes that is 22 bytes. So if we add 22 bytes to 456 we can reach to the address of D. The data type here will only be used to store either true or false. So taking boolean will suffice. The logic is based on the problem which we encountered in previous questions. Here we earn b equals to a by d. So integer dividing integer we get an integer. So we are getting 45 not 45.6. Now c is equals to a minus b. So 456 minus 45 gives the solution.
a new question try solve try to solve it here first the remainder is obtained when 984 is divided by 10 which is 4 and now the value of a is modified a is divided by d and a now contains 98 so remainder of 98 and 10 is obtained now which is 8 so 48 is the correct answer This kind of problem and operator precedency we have done before also. Where since and has higher precedence over all, it will be done first. So 0 and 0 is 0, and then all is performed then. So 1 or 0, we are getting 1. Multiplication and division has the same precedence. You can perform any of them first. So when multiplication is done first, we are getting 1 to 5, 0, dividing it by 5. 250 and then adding 5 to it, we are getting 255. So, a similar kind of problem, same thing applies over here as well. So, you have spent 10 minutes on this video, try to solve it by yourself and check out how much you have learned. Thank you.